Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating a video gallery based on YouTube videos. So here we can see we have this video gallery. We have the video displayed over here. And if I click on any of these videos, it should be displayed over here. And this is a YouTube video player. So we can just click on play and this video will play and we can access all the controls of the YouTube video player over here. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to create the design. So this is how it looks right now. We haven't added the functionality yet. So if I click on the second video, nothing happens over here. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to add the functionality using JavaScript so that when we click on these videos, those videos will be displayed over here. So let's get started. Now, when we click on one of these thumbnails, the video should be displayed over here. So for that, we need to get the URL of the video and let's go to our source code. And here we can see in the HTML, this is the division with the class of featured video and in that we have this iframe and here we can see we have an attribute called source and in that we have this YouTube video URL. Now here you can add an option to show just the related videos of the current channel. So for that you can just type question mark rel equals zero and if I do that and if I go back to our YouTube player and if I click on play and if I click on pause once again we can see that all the related videos are from the live blogger channel. So you can add rel equals zero if you want to have just your videos displayed over here in the related section. All right now if you take a look at this URL, we can see that we have an ID over here of the video. So this is the video ID. Now let's go back to YouTube and let's open the video. So this is the video. Let's open the video over here. So this is the video. Let's open it. Right now here we can see we have this ID STQX and this ID right here. So we have the same ID over here in this embed URL. Now we can make use of this format and we can add different videos over here. So if I add an ID of a different video over here, that video will be embedded over here in our video player. So now what we will do is we will add a data attribute to all the thumbnails. So data attributes are basically used to store some data inside the tags. So here we have this IMG tag with a class of thumbnail. So these are all the thumbnails over here. Now we need to store the data of the video ID over here inside these tags. And we also need to store the title of the videos. So here for the first thumbnail, this is the first thumbnail. So for that we need to have this video ID. So let's copy this and let's go back to our VS code and let's add a data attribute. So we can just type data hyphen and just add the name. We'll just name it ID. And let's set it equal to this video ID. And we also need to add the title. So let's type data hyphen title equals. And this is the title of the video. So let's copy this title and let's paste it over here. So that's it with the data attributes of the first image. Now let's go to the second thumbnail. And here we will add the ID and the title. So let's go back to our channel and let's get the second video. So this is the second video portfolio website. So this is the video. Let's open this. And here we can see this is the video ID. So let's copy this and let's go back. And here for the second image, let's type data hyphen ID equals and let's paste it over here. And let's also add the title. So let's type data hyphen title equals and let's go back to our video and let's copy this title from here. Let's copy it from here and let's paste it over here. Now we have the last thumbnail which is right here. So let's type data hyphen ID and let's go back to our video gallery and the third video is this one right here. So let's get the video ID and this is the video. Let's open this and let's copy this video ID and let's go back to VS code and let's paste it over here and let's also add the title. So let's type data hyphen title equals and let's copy this title from here and I'll just paste it over here. All right now the next thing we will do is we will add the JavaScript to display the correct videos over here. So for that we will use the data attributes of ID and title. Now to do that we need to get some elements from the HTML. So we need to reference some of these elements. We need to reference the iframe because we need to change the source and then we need to reference all these thumbnails. So we have the image with a class of thumbnail. 
So we need to reference all these three thumbnails over here. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have already linked our main.js file. So we have this iframe over here inside the featured video class, which is inside video gallery. And for all the thumbnails, we have a class of thumbnails. So let's go to main.js file and let's type const video thumbnails equals document dot query selector all because there are multiple thumbnails and let's type video gallery all videos thumbnail now all the thumbnails will be stored inside this video thumbnails constant right now let's reference the iframe so let's type const and we'll just name it video player equals document dot query selector and it is inside video gallery featured video and we have an iframe now the next thing we will do is we will add event listeners to all these video thumbnails so there are multiple video thumbnails over here so let's use a for each loop i just type video thumbnails dot for each and for each of the video thumbnail i'll just call it v and let's create an arrow function over here and in here i'll just type v which is the single video thumbnail and let's add an event listener so let's tap add event listener and we will listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here now here we will call a function to show the video so i'll just create a function called show video and i'm just calling it over here we'll just create it in a moment now in this show video function we need to pass two arguments the first one is the id and the second one is the title so we have both these data attributes over here now to access these data attributes you can just type v which is the video thumbnail dot data set dot the name of the data attribute so the first one is id and let's type v dot data set dot title so here we can see we have the id and title so we need to use the same names over here right now let's create the show video function so let's type const show video and here for the video id we'll just receive it as video id and for the title we'll just receive it as title right now let's create a variable to store the video url so let's type video url equals now we're going to append this video id url into this video url string so for that we will use backticks and uh, let's go back to our html file and uh, this is an example of the source so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here now instead of this id right here we need to add the id that we get from this function call so i'll just delete this id and uh, let's type dollar symbol and uh, curly braces and here we just add video id right now that we have the video url let's add the video url to the source of the video player which is the iframe so let's type video player dot set attribute and we need to set the attribute of src so let's type src over here and for the second parameter let's type video url now the last thing we need to do is we need to update the video title so let's also reference the video title let's go to the index.html file and for the video title we have an s3 with the class of video title so let's type const video title equals document dot query selector video gallery video title and uh, here we'll just type video title dot inner html equals title right now let's see whether it works so let's go back to our uh, website and let's click on the second video and we have the second video displayed over here and uh, let's click on play and we have the video playing over here and uh, we also have the change in the title so this is the first title and we have the second title over here let's click on the third video and we have the third video displayed over here and we can play that and we also have the title updated so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can create a youtube video gallery using html css and javascript all right that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day